A particle of charge Q is placed at a corner of a cube of S A. What is the flux through each cube face forming that corner and each of the other cube faces? To solve this problem, you must have an idea of the electric flux and Gauss law. So let's have a quick review of this concept. The electric flux through a small surface ds is given by d phi equal to e dot ds, where e is the electric field through the surface ds. And the electric flux through a surface of area s is given by phi equal to surface integral of e dot ds. Now let's see what is Gauss law. Gauss law for electrostatics is the simplest method to find the electric field at any point near a charge distribution. It states that the total electric flux through a closed surface is equal to the net charge enclosed by the surface divided by permittivity of the medium. For a vacuum medium, electric flux through a closed surface is given by phi equal to Q enclosed upon epsilon naught, where Q enclosed is the charge enclosed through the closed surface S and epsilon naught is the permittivity of the vacuum. The value of epsilon naught is 8.854 times 10 raised to power minus 12 Coulomb square per Newton meter square. You have given that a charge Q is placed at the corner of a cube of side A. Let's consider this is the cube and here at this corner we place this charge Q. Now the electric field lines due to the presence of this charge are like this. If the charge will be positive then the direction of the electric field will be away from the charge. In part A, you have to find the electric flux at the cube face containing the corner where the charge is placed. You see here, there are three faces that contain this charge. Also, the electric field at these faces containing the corner having charge is along the plane of the faces. So for these faces, the direction of the electric field is perpendicular to the direction of area vector. And hence, the electric flux at each cube face forming this corner where the charge is placed is zero. So the answer for the part A is zero here. In part B, you have to find the electric flux at each of the other cube faces. That is, you have to calculate the electric flux at these faces. For this, let's consider an imaginary cube so that this charge will be at the center of the cube and the cube faces at which we want to find the flux will be the part of the faces of this imaginary cube. Imagine seven more cubes of side length A such that the charge is at the common corner of the cubes. So the imaginary cube will be a cube of side length 2A containing these eight cubes. Since the charge enclosed through the cube of side length 2A is here Q enclosed equal to Q, therefore from the Gauss law, the total electric flux through the cube of side length 2A is given by phi equal to Q enclosed upon epsilon naught, which is equal to Q upon epsilon naught. Since there are six faces in a cube, so the electric flux through one face of the cube of side length 2A is given by phi 1 equal to phi upon 6 which is equal to Q upon 6 epsilon naught. Now in this diagram, you can see that each face of the cube of side length 2A contains four faces of the cube of side length A. Therefore, the total electric flux through one face of the cube of side length A other than the faces contain that charge corner is given by phi 2 equal to phi 1 upon 4. Since phi 1 equal to phi upon 6, so phi 2 will be phi upon 24. Now phi equal to q upon epsilon naught, so phi 2 will be q upon 24 epsilon naught. And this is the value of the electric flux through one face of the cube of side length A other than the faces contains that charged corner. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, then do like, share and subscribe to this channel. Thank you.